Good morning, everybody. I'm Reva with Quality Sewing and Vacuum, and I'm happy that you're joining us. We are going to talk about all things caps on your multi needle. So, now a multi needle is really exceptional for doing ball caps because it has a free arm and it's able to take advantage of a system for caps that is round. Okay, and that's important because a ball cap is round. And you really can't put this on a flat hoop without distorting or damaging the structure of the cap. So let's start at the very beginning. Right now our um, multi-needle is set up for just basic flat frames and we're going to switch it over to ball caps. And it's really simple. You've just got a couple of screws here. They're just thumb screws. You're just going to loosen them up and you take out the little screws. Just these little guys right here. There's two of them. And we're going to take those off and then this, this just lifts off and this is the holder for the flat uh, the flat frame so now we can put on our driver this is what's going to allow the caps to work now when you get it in the box it has these two screws on the top we want to remove those that is for shipping to keep it from moving around so you don't need to keep them in there once you've got it out of the box. So I'm just going to take those off. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I want to take a look at the underside and make sure that these big screws are loose, not out. Don't take them all the way out. That's just a headache for you. So we're going to just take, loosen those up because those are going to go around this little piece right here. Can you see the little dovetail? Probably not too well. We're going to try this little area right here. Okay, now, what we're going to do is if you take a look on the driver, there is a little hole right there, and there is a peg right here. And I'm going to hold the driver just by this top piece, and I'm going to, let me close that, slip this in, and there's actually this hole right here that we're going to be, the arm of the machine goes through there. So I'm just going to hold on to that, and I'm going to pop this on, and I'm going to line up that hole with the peg and then just pop it in there. That's all you have to do. It's really simple. If ever at any time you're doing something with your ball cap system and it's difficult, that's probably because you're trying too hard. So just back up a second, think, take a breath and try it again. Okay, so we've got it in the pegs. Now what I wanna do is make sure that these big screws down here are nice and tight. So I'm gonna just make sure they're all the way back that I can feel the back of the machine and then I'm going to tighten them. They need to be all the way back so that way this cap system can move freely left to right and not go at any type of diagonal at all. So you want those firmly seated. Then you take your two little screws and you're just going to pop those in and just screw them into place. Again, you don't need tools, but I don't think I'm in the right spot. There I am. Okay, just tighten those up, and then we are good to go. Now, the last thing we want to do to convert this into a cap system right here is we're going to put this little piece on top, and what that does is it raises up the bed of the machine to have a little bit more of a curb and a little bit more height to accommodate the ball caps. Okay, so our driver is on. This is what's going to hold the cap hoop. Now we want to look at the cap hoop. That is right here. This is the part that's going to hold the ball cap onto the um, on that we can put it on the machine. This is the mounting jig. As you know, when you hoop your uh, your regular flats, you use a flat table. But since this is round and you can't really put it on a flat table, this is now our round table for our cap hoop. Now let's look at the anatomy really quick. Do you see the little roller right here? Okay, and there's that little. There's a little, kind of like a little semicircle, little circular thing there. To take this off, I would put my thumbs right there and my fingers right here, and I'm going to push with my thumbs and pull with my fingers, and that will take that off. To put it on to the jig, I'm going to put it in here, and when I get to it, kind of a just a, it's not going to go any further without pushing. I don't want to push the frame, but I'm going to put my fingers behind here and pull the frame on. Okay? So you push and pull. Now, um, it's going to do the same thing when we put it onto the machine. 
okay? So if you have a hard time putting this on and it won't go on, it's probably because you're not letting it be flat. So what a lot of times I will do is I'll just put it on, let it just sit nice and flat, and then I'll push it and pop it on, okay? All right, so now let's talk about the getting the hat on there. This little piece will open up, and you'll notice that one, of, one side has teeth on it, the other does not, okay? So the teeth are gonna actually be what holds the cap on, and I'll show you that in a second. But we're gonna open this up, we're gonna take our cap, and if there's any cardboard in there, you wanna take the cardboard out. And I wanna use a real heavy weight cap stabilizer. This is a heavy tear away. And I just slip that right underneath that little, I call it a tongue, I don't know what it is, but that little, that little piece right there. Now, with your ball caps, when you're stitching them, you want to make sure that the sweatband is up and out of the way. If it's down like this, it could get caught in the stitches and then it won't lay f nicely on the head when it's worn. So you wanna flip that back. And on this one, I'm gonna flip back to the sides as well because the hoop we're using, it can do 14 inches from ear to ear. Okay, so I'm going to position this all the way around down here and it goes underneath the whole cap system down there and look I'm not stressing about this I'm not holding it on I'm not worrying about it but I am now that I have it around the hoop I'm gonna look at my sweatband and I'm gonna wiggle 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 until the sweatband is underneath the tongue okay and there's a red line there there's a red line there and that is the center of the hoop so I can kind of eyeball with my um, my cap here but it's not horribly important because you can adjust on the machine. Now we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna put the bill through the two different pieces here on the securing strap. So the bill goes in between there. And then what we're going to do is we wanna make sure that the teeth of this front piece is in the seam line where the bill and the hat adjoin. You don't wanna have it up like this or down like that. It needs to be in that seam line. So what I wanna do is kind of find out where that metal piece wants to rest, and then I'm going to kind of make have the hat go to where it needs to be. And then this little guy does buckle like a, um, it buckles like a ski boot, and I'm gonna, or an old suitcase, I'm gonna rotate this around so you can see. It has this type of buckle on it, and there's a hook right here. So this will just reach over to that hook. Let me get that there. Reach this over to that hook, and then you just simply tighten that up, okay? And then you're gonna see that you have a nice, nicely placed cap. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is you want to just kind of smooth the fabric out, and if you're, if you're doing a side piece, you also wanna kind of make sure that the side of that hat, the sweatband, is, is out of the way. And then you're gonna take your clips, and you're gonna put it one right there, and I'll rotate this one so you can see. So to see how this is not over that area, I want that to come up here and smooth that out. And if I was really, really stitching this, I probably want to get that up underneath there and get the teeth, because the teeth go down to here, I'd want to get that into the hoop as well. But if you're just doing a front, you've got it, you're good to go. So here is my piece, and now there's two more clips that go on there. I'm not going to put them on right now, but there are two more clips. You come with four. Now, the last thing that we're going to want to do is we want to control the bill. So what you want to do is kind of lean into it and get the bill to get closer to this piece so you can get the securing piece over the top. I try to be kind of broad with my, um, my pressure so I don't just put it in one spot. I kind of have it even around the whole thing. So this piece, let me show you how that works. It comes up and flips over the top and then comes right back down and then you should have this little guy sticking out the top. Okay. Now, if you guys have any questions along the way, then just let us know, and I'll try to answer those. And then, again, I'm going to put my thumbs on those little circles, push with my thumbs, pull with my fingers, and then that comes right off the hoop. Now, I want you to notice that inside, there's no metal. There's nothing holding that hat in place. So you really want to be cautious not to touch and, and um, manhandle the cap itself. Hold only on to the metal part. Now let's put it onto the machine. 
When you go to put it on the machine, you can see it's not going to go on this way because it's too big. So you're simply going to rotate it 90 degrees, get it in over the free arm and under the needles, and that one has that little piece there, so it might be easier to go this way. And then once you get behind the needles, you can rotate it straight up or up to where it's going to fit into the brackets. Now, um, Carrie, can you get over here so you can see right here? What we want to be cautious of is not pushing it on. If you push it on, you might move this out of position, and then it's not in the right spot for the cap. So what I like to do is use the heel of my hand right here and put it on those little flanges that were on the hoop and put my fingers behind here and pinch them together, and then it's on. Okay, now we're ready to sew a cap, which is really pretty cool. So let's take a look at the screen really quick. We're going to bring in our, our, wake him up, and you can use whatever design you want to. You are limited on size, but it does show you right here that you have the cap hoop on. So you can come in, and let's just grab this cornucopia. It's getting to be fall. So I can grab that design. It's ready to go. And when I say edit end, take a look. It flips it upside down automatically for you. So that way you are able to confidently sew the cap without having to manually rotate or remember that you get it the right direction. The machine does all the work for you. Now, if we were going to be stitching this out, you want to make sure it's centered. So we can turn on our camera and it's going to show us right where the center is. And I can see I'm pretty doggone close. I might want to move over a tick or so, and then we're good to go, and we're ready to stitch that out. You just turn off the camera, and you're ready to go. So you can see it's really super easy to hoop a hat, and it's really easy to, to uh, stitch out the cap as well. So lots of fun. Uh, they're a good money maker if you want to have a business. They, you can make a lot of money on ball caps. I've stitched out thousands of hats, and I tell you, hats are the easiest thing to hoop, and they're so, so easy and fun to do. But we're going to look at a different cap hoop system. The one I just showed you is actually one of the most uh, popular ones that people have because you not only can do a design right in the front of the ball cap, but you can also do it 14 inches so you go from ear to ear using the 10 needles. So that's really pretty cool. Okay, to take this off, I'm just going to lit. I took out those little screws. I'm going to loosen up the big screws, and then I'm just going to lift that up and off, and off it comes. And now... He's done and we're, we're finished with him. And now let's look at the other type of cap hoop. So we're gonna come over here. This is called the universal cap frame. And it, you can see it's smaller, so it can do children's size caps as well, but it can also do all different types, bucket hats and all sorts of things. It is a different style of, of hoop. It works very much taking it on and off, very similar, but you can see it has a whole different look than the one we just used. It does have a lock and an unlock button down here on the bottom. We're gonna have it unlocked to start with, and we're gonna pop this onto the machine, and this little guy comes off. And then we're gonna take our cap, and we're gonna take our stabilizer. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna lay that stabilizer right there. It doesn't have a little tongue, so you can actually just kind of, um, push it onto the little pegs right there and you know get it to kind of hold on to it a little bit. But again, we're not gonna stress about it if it doesn't. Again, take that cardboard out. That's not stabilizer. We're gonna flip that sweatband up and then we're simply going to place this right on to the cap hoop. Now, um, again, if it's hard to do, then maybe you're working too hard or you're trying too hard. I'm just gonna let it sit there. And this little guy is going to go, can you see right down here? There's a little path. Okay, so there's one of those on each side. So I'm just going to get it started and get putting it, start putting it into there. And now I am going to reach down and that little unlock button, I'm going to turn it to lock. Because now listen, it clicks into place. So I'm just going to push this right down on there. And again, I have the little teeth that are on the hoop itself are right there in the um, seam of that cap, and they're going to hold that into place. That is easy. That's all there is to this one. And then there are a couple of the little clips that I set someplace. Here they are. It comes with the clips, so you're just going to take one and reach it around and pop it onto one of the little pieces there. 
and then on to the spot there and then he is ready to go and it goes on it has a different driver but the driver goes onto the machine the same way but you can see this one holds differently and it doesn't it has a different it doesn't have that bill part there so you can do this with bucket hats you can do flat brim ball caps you can do you know low profile high profile um, and also it does allow you to get a little closer to the bill itself uh, with this cap frame so really really easy to do easy to use and pretty fantastic so um we can open it up if there's any questions at all. If not, I hope you have lots of fun doing ball caps and getting them done properly because they're absolutely fabulous and fun to do. So we look forward to seeing you at our next How Do I? Um, and let us know if you have any questions. Have a good day.